Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be ranking and reviewing every single admin glove in Roblox Slap Battles. Also, I just want to give a huge thank you to Too Quick For You 09 and Sir Dilly. Too Quick For You for using the admin gloves and Sir Dilly for telling me about them. Without them, this video would not be possible. Thanks guys, and enjoy the video. So yeah, I'm going to be reviewing every single admin glove in Slap Battles today. I've been wanting to do this video for like months now so it's just so unreal that it's finally gonna happen once again just thank you quick for using the gloves i really appreciate it also this video does include the brand new super parry admin glove so if you want to see it be sure to stick around for that anyways enjoy the video the first glove he used was edgelord and it's pretty epic yo <laughs> Bro, uh-oh. <laughs> you fight us. Uh. Also, sorry, one last thing. This is the first video I've done with my voice in a while, so let me know if you guys like this, or if you just like me inserting text into the video more. I'm honestly fine with doing either. Also, if I sound really, like, overly excited throughout this video, that's because I genuinely am. This is the first time I've seen basically all of these admin gloves except for three, so it, it was just extremely exciting th for me. <laughs> oh, we're so cooked! Ah. <laughs> Dude, I, just got, I just got flung, bro. No. <laughs> so Edge Lord is the original 250 kill streak ability. It's extremely overpowered, as it has two abilities. One of them is obviously being able to fling anyone that is somewhat close to them. And the second ability is being able to teleport. However, it is worth mentioning that you can only do that on PC, as there's no button to do it on mobile for some reason. But yeah, it's extremely overpowered, and you can't get hit while using it either. He's back. <laughs> Oh, what the? <laughs> Bro! Yeah, you can't even use abilities on it. That's just insane. Just watch this guy. I'm about to beat him. I'm about to beat him. Quit. <laughs> yeah, literally no abilities work on him. Tried everything from Scythe to Duelist. Literally nothing would work. Dude! I forgot you can get hit in the lobby! I forgot you can get hit in the lobby! And it works in the lobby, which means you can fling people into no one shots. He he's too powerful. Okay, yeah. No! No! And he can also solo Rob, but Rob can actually float, so I think that could probably help a bit. Here one of my friends tried to use speed on him, and I'll just let this clip speak for itself. Oh, he can hit speed! What the Yeah, this looks pretty normal to me. What? It works on Spectator! And it works on Spectator. I don't even know why I was surprised at this point, to be honest. So yeah, off to a pretty good start. I'm gonna be putting Edgelord in S tier. I don't think it's very surprising why. It's extremely overpowered. Yeah, and it can't even be hit by anything. So the next club is Extendeded, which is basically just a super long version of Extended. Guys, he's extended. So due to the extremely long length of ex extended it, it's really hard to hit people with it, which honestly makes it pretty bad. There we go. If you manage to hit someone with extended it, you can kind of get them into a combo, but it's very hard to keep the combo going. Um, here I died just due to me not even trying to kill him. Um, I, I swear I don't have a skill issue, guys. I swear. Here he did manage to get a hit on me, but you literally have to go to one of the smaller islands to be able to hit someone. Yeah, not really good. So, uh, yeah. This glove, for an admin glove, is really bad. Like... It can be used for trolling, but honestly, it's very, 
very hard to hit people with it, so... Yeah. Honestly, it would be, like, the game would literally be perfectly fine if it wasn't an admin glove, I think. It's gonna have to go in F. So the next glove he used was gum, and it's the admin version of gummy, which... It, it's pretty funny. What? Oh, oh, bro is so dead. <laughs> so yeah, when you get hit by this glove, you get infinite gumballs put on you, which literally just gets you sent flying straight to the death barrier. Yes! Yes! I killed him! So yeah, here I did manage to kill him, but to be honest, I just got completely lucky with the RNG of how the gumballs were put onto him. No! Please. Here I did try to counter him with reverse, but I failed miserably. Also, yeah, reverse does counter it. Valid, right? No! Oh! I reversed too late. Compared to extended it, gum is a pretty good admin glove. However, it is kind of just like a regular one shot. However, a lot more fun and satisfying to use. So, for that, I'm going to be putting gum into the B tier. So the next glove he used was Terry, which is basically just run, but without the maze. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> so yeah, with this glove, you can literally turn into Terry from the run maze whenever you want. Get him. No! Yeah, and you can also one-shot Rob. Then I tried to use reverse on him, and, um... Oh. Okay. Yeah, to no one's surprise, it didn't work. Okay, he kills Spectator. Yeah, and similar to Edgelord, he can kill Spectator. No. Get Bob! Get Bob! Get Bob! Similar to Rob, Bob also has nothing on Terry. Domain expansion. Two Terrys. Oh. So I got him into the run maze, and I was walking around, and then something pretty terrifying happened. Oh. No! Bro, he looks so scary! <laughs> also, apparently he has more power over me, because he can just kill me. Then me and Quick decided to team up on my friend in the run maze. It was pretty fun. And you can't run forever. Oh! Some amazing teamwork right there. I would rather... I would... And then he just ended up absolutely murdering me in the end. Similar to Edgelord, Terry is a pretty overpowered admin glove. Like, being able to literally one-shot anything, including Rob and spectators. Yeah, that's an S tier if I've seen one. I'm gonna put it beside Edgelord, and I still think Edgelord is better. So the next glove he used was Train, and this actually wasn't the first ever experience I've actually had with Train. Oh my dude, I couldn't even spawn! Yeah, very good start. I couldn't even spawn in without getting hit by a train. No! Yes, I got him! Yeah, it does quite a bit of knockback, as you can tell. I also tried using reverse on it, and this. Yeah, it doesn't work. It doesn't even work on bus, so I don't know why I tried it. Bro, there was a singular train. Yeah, even just by spawning a small train, it still does insane knockback. No! <laughs> don't get hit by trains, guys. It hurts. So yeah, train is another extremely overpowered glove just from having no cooldown to like the insane amounts of knockback it does that's just incredibly overpowered it's not a surprise that it's going in s tier and i think i'm gonna put it above terry so the next admin glove he used was bobble and it's the admin version of bubble it's pretty fun no Oh my! 
So Bobble is basically just Bobble but with no cooldown, and also if you get stuck inside one of the bubbles, the bubble literally just won't pop, and you're kind of just forced to reset. Also, it's really hard to aim with this glove, which is definitely a downside. What? <laughs> what happened to bro? Yeah, I'm not quite sure what happened to him here. Uh, he kind of just fell over. It's all... Here I did get caught in a bubble, and uh, something pretty strange happened. Guys, I, I might know how to counter this glove. Okay, am I, am, is it gonna let me reset? So yeah, the thing about this glove is that since there's so many bubbles spawning at once, it kinda lags out the servers, and it kinda causes you to sometimes get softlocked. Yeah, I literally had to rejoin. No! Dude, it's the bubble train. Yeah, since all the bubbles stopped in one spot, it ended up making something that looked pretty cool. So since reverse works on bubble, it also works on this glove. So bubble's a pretty good admin glove in my opinion. Has no cooldown, which is basically just like every other admin glove. However, it is pretty hard to aim with this, and Reverse does counter it. So because of that, I'm going to be putting it in the A tier. It's still pretty good, though. Alright, so the next glove is... Ah! Sus! It's sus! It's sus! Ow! So yeah, the next glove he used was sus, and uh... <laughs> yeah, this glove literally has the ability to kick anyone with just a single slap. <laughs> I'm sorry. Notice how when he slaps the blink, it actually doesn't kick the person using it. Really, the only good way to counter sus is by using a glove with an offensive or projectile ability. I did manage to kill him here, but I think it was because he was distracted while typing in chat. Yeah, Blink can definitely be a pretty good method to get away from the glove. And I accidentally betrayed my friend here. Yeah. <laughs> Where? Yeah, I... Th I think it's pretty obvious where I'm going to be putting sus. I'm putting in an S above Edgelord. I mean, like, it can literally kick anyone, like, come on. So the next glove he used was Edgelord again, and I was pretty confused at first, but after a few seconds it all made sense. Oh no, he's using Edgelord again. Jax! <laughs> Yeah, he was combining Clone and Edgelord. I sure hope this doesn't cause any insane lag later on. Little did I know that when I walked through this red portal, I'd be greeted by something pretty insane. No! Oh my god! Help! Yeah, it's only been 25 seconds since he first started using Clone, and it's already insane. This reminds me of that one boss fight in Mario 3D World, but like... Crazier. Oh my god! Yeah, I don't know how my single replica is gonna help me in this case. Dude! Thank god one of my friends somehow found the real one of him, and all of them despawned. Oh no. Well, they're normal clones now. Oh my god! So, uh, the clone slapped me right into where all of them were spawning, and my FPS was dying. I was lagging so hard. Dude, I'm lagging so bad! Well, who could have seen this coming? 
I'd say this is a pretty good slap grinding glove. I'll give it like a 7 out of 10 or something. Holy... No! Yeah, if they didn't all despawn here, I think my PC might have actually caught on fire. So yeah, Clone is a very good glove. It's replica but with no cooldown. And since you can spawn so many at once, it can easily just overwhelm like the entire server, making it extremely hard to kill you. Also, the amount of slaps you get while using this glove is honestly just crazy. However, I don't think it's as good as the four gloves in S tier, so I'm going to be putting in an A. However, just think of this as like an A+, because this glove is definitely better than Bobble. So the next glove he used was Minecraft, and let's just say he was placing bricks and stuff, because he's in frickin' slap battles. Hey. Yeah, so Minecraft is basically just brick, but with no cooldown. No! It's a remake! Yeah, so similar to Train, this actually isn't the first time I've seen Minecraft either. It's a remake! Bro! Oh. Yeah, so with this glove, you can basically just trap people forever just by spamming a bunch of bricks on top of them. Dude. And uh, as you might have already been able to tell, it does lag the server a lot. The plate. Oh, yeah, just take a look at the plate. I, I don't think it's supposed to be over there. <laughs> oh, and then it just decided to come back. Yay! Free Lego! So I think Minecraft's a pretty fun admin glove. It's nothing that special compared to most of the other admin gloves we've seen, however I think it's still pretty good. So for that, I'm going to be putting it in the A tier, just behind Clone. So the next glove he used was Man Spider, and it's a pretty good glove for getting around with. I was just going to equip Grapple and then I just see him from the lobby. But like some stuff will still be- Holy. Yeah, if you couldn't tell, this glove is grapple, but with infinite range and no cooldown. Uh, yeah, you can literally grapple to the lobby using this glove. I don't know how helpful that is, though, since you just died at the death border, but you can still do it. So it's not really an app. So yeah, pretty good glove to get around. And you can just grapple to places that you wouldn't normally be able to, like Cannon Island. Why is It's pretty hard for people to kill you while you're using this glove. So, Grapple's a pretty good transportation glove. However, it's a good transportation glove. Unfortunately, it isn't that good for, for like, using in combat. So, I'm going to be putting it in B tier. Above Gum. Because why not? So I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting a while for this one. Yeah, the next glove, Brazil. <laughs> yeah, if it isn't obvious, this glove just sends you straight to the Brazil portal when you get slapped. So for some reason, if you're using Mister, it takes you like seven slaps to get sent to Brazil. So, it's a pretty good counter. Yeah, if you're using Mr. and a Brazil is slapping you, make sure to not go out of your ability. So yeah, Brazil is definitely pretty overpowered. However, it can be countered by Mr. of all things. And also, I forgot to get a clip of it, but Reverse does not counter Brazil. So, yeah, I'm going to be putting Brazil in S tier, however, I'm actually going to be putting it above Terry and below Train, Edgelord, and Sus, just because it can be countered somewhat. Alright, so the next level he used was Nimbus, and it's basically just a super fast version of Cloud. So I actually didn't get any clips of Nimbus' ability at all for this video, so I'll just be using one from one of my previous videos. Yeah, it's basically just a much faster version of Cloud. Can't Nimbus, like, not slap? 
Also, yeah, for some reason this glove can't slap, and I have no idea why. I've been trying to figure that out, like, ever since the admin glove came out. Very strange. So, yeah, Nimbus honestly isn't that good. It would be much higher up on the tier list if it could slap, which for some reason it just can't. So because of that, I'm going to be putting it in C tier, since the cloud does still go pretty fast, but it just can't slap, which honestly makes it pretty bad. So the next glove he used was Table, and it's basically just a super overpowered version of Table Flip. Oh my god! Yeah, it has no cooldown, and it does a lot of knockback. Also, Reverse does counter it, so that's definitely going to affect the ranking. So yeah, Table is definitely a pretty good glove for combat. However, I really still, like, once again, I don't think it's as good as these gloves in S tier. So, I'm going to be putting it in A, above Bobble in Minecraft, and below Clone. Just because Reverse can counter it, and I don't think it's as overpowered as these gloves. So we're getting cl pretty close to the end of the video, so if you're still here, thank you. Anyways, uh, the next glove he used was Imaginary Glove, which is the admin version of Rojo. It's pretty overpowered. So Imaginary Glove is basically just Rojo, however, the purple orb that spawns is a lot bigger and does a lot more knockback. It has barely any cooldown, and the cutscene that plays when you use the ability is a lot shorter. Dude! Please! Dare you give me your money. Yeah, and just like normal Rojo, uh, Reverse does counter the ability. So, yeah, I'll be putting Imaginary Glove in A tier, behind Table. Just because it has a longer cooldown, and it's also kind of more easy to avoid. Kind of. And it does less knockback. Alright, so the next glove he used was King Speed, and um, I'm just going to give you guys a volume warning. Ah! It's so loud! So yeah, obviously King Speed is the admin version of Speed, and also, I have no idea what happened here. But my best guess is that me turning into Speed flung him for some reason. Dude! Uh, uh, bro! I guess another bonus thing about this glove is that if he moves around like really fast, then he can just fling anyone. <laughs> no! I'm pretty sure the best way to counter this glove is by using Pusher, because yeah, it can push him back. Yes! Yes! Be gone! No! Yeah, I really have no idea how he survived that. Oh! And there I managed to push him off. So King Speed's an alright admin glove. The only real downside of it is that it moves pretty slowly and it can be countered by Pusher pretty easily. So because of that, I'm going to be putting it at the very back of B tier. The next glove he used was Frost God, and it's an overpowered version of Frostbite. So this glove actually has a passive and activatable ability. The passive is what you're seeing right here, which is just Ice's ability, and I'll get to the activatable one in a second. So that's what Frostbite's ability looks like at minimum, and I'll show you Frost God's ability at minimum. Yeah, it has a pretty big radius. And that's Frostbite's ability at maximum. Still doesn't even come close to Frost God's ability. So one of the downsides about this glove is that it's one of the only admin gloves to have a cooldown. And also, the cooldown is the exact same length as Frostbite, so yeah, not very good. And Reverse does counter this glove. Okay, so I just realized that I had messed up the A tier, like, so badly. I had Bobble in the front, which it was actually supposed to be in the back, because it's the worst one in A tier. So, I just fixed it, and yeah. Frost God is going in A tier. I'm gonna put it, 
above Bobble and behind Minecraft. So the next love is Boogie Woogie, and can you guess what it is? Okay, time's up. It's the admin version of Swapper. Don't worry, I can all save you. Oh no. Okay, dude. Uh, this. Okay. So once someone uses the ability on you while they're using this, yeah, yeah, you're not really getting away. I mean, like, I can't even swap away because then he just swaps me back. And you can also use the ability while ragdolled, which is something you can't do with regular swapper. Yeah, I think Boogie Woogie's a, definitely a pretty good admin glove. However, I'm kind of confused on where to put it, since it's definitely pretty overpowered, since you can literally just swap people into the void, since you can use it while you're ragdolled. So, um... Honestly... I'm gonna put it right behind table in the A tier. Alright, we're getting extremely close to the end of the video, so I really hope you've been enjoying. Anyways, one of the final admin gloves he used was Slayer, and it's the admin version of Shotgun. So this is just Shotgun with, like, infinite ammo, basically. Also, I'm pretty sure it only has a one second cooldown. Yeah, he really got me into a combo here. Do that. So Slayer is definitely a really good glove for combos, and also I forgot to get a clip of it, but yes, Reverse does counter it. I don't think this glove is too overpowered, but yeah, it, it's definitely alright for an admin glove. So I'm going to be putting it at the very bottom of A tier. So this next glove is actually the newest admin glove. It's called Super Parry, and it's the admin version of Parry. So yeah, this glove is Parry, but with no cooldown, and it does insane knockback when you get slapped by it. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be possible for me to hit him. Reverse can also counter this glove, and yeah, it's definitely the best counter to it. So yeah, Super Parry is definitely another pretty good admin glove. Like, it would already be overpowered enough if it just had no cooldown, but no, they decided to make it have insane knockback when you get slapped by it. Yeah, that's definitely pretty overpowered, however, it can be countered by Reverse, so I'm not going to put it in S tier. Instead, I'm going to put it in A tier, um, yeah, above Boogie Woogie and below Table and Clone. Pretty good glove. And it looks like that's everything. Oh, wait, hold on, no, there's two more. Uh, just give me a second, I gotta do something. Get over here. Oh. No. 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 Second last glove is the Sardilli glove, and it might actually be one of the most overpowered gloves yet. So yeah, as you can see, this glove is just a one-shot, but a better. And the final glove is obviously the best one yet, the Logsme glove. So this glove actually gives you the ability to just make videos. However, it has a pretty long cooldown, with a cooldown of four months. And yeah, that's actually everything now. Again, I just want to give a huge thank you to Too Quick For You 09 and Sir Dilly. This video would just not be possible without them, so just a huge thank you to them. And also, thank you to you for watching this video. If you watched all the way to here, thank you. I really hope you enjoyed. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys thought of this video. And yeah, see ya.